All right, appraisers, this is Brandon with Choice Valuation, and in this video, I'm actually not going to be covering anything related to Spark or Trendsheet, but today I'm just going to be going over the uh, super sexy topic of file indexing in Windows. And that might sound incredibly boring uh, to you, but it and, and it is kind of boring, but it can actually be really, really helpful and it can give you a big time savings and uh, create some efficiencies and work if you take advantage of it. And so this would be, first of all, for any of you who have gone paperless or or mostly paperless and you print your documents to PDF rather than to paper. Uh, so I know there's some of you that use OneNote. I don't think this is really going to be helpful for you. But if you print things to PDF, this should be really helpful to you. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So basically, file indexing in Windows is where you can tell Windows to go index an entire folder of documents. And what that means is when you start up your computer, all of that information, instead of being just stored in the, in the slow hard drive, it's stored and indexed in your memory on your computer, the, the fast memory, the RAM. So basically you have almost instant access to a ton of information and it's really easy to search through. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about here. So let's just say you wanna find out if you have ever you know, used a particular property in an appraisal report before. So I'm gonna go in and type in an address and then you click documents right here. And by the way, I'm doing this in Windows 10. Um, this works in older versions of Windows as well. So you can still use file indexing in uh, you know, Windows 7 or Windows XP or any other older version um, of, well, I think it's XP and newer is where they had file indexing here. So you basically just type in the address and in Windows 10, you gotta make sure and click documents to get all of the information. So I clicked documents and you can see what popped up here. So um, I named at this time, I was naming uh, my documents by the file number and then what it was. So this is comp info. And so this is where I printed the actual MLS listings to PDF. And then I also have this, which is my search, which has basically um, all the properties I thought were competing at the time. And then I also have these two, which are the actual XML and PDF documents for the actual appraisal report. So if I click this, it's going to instantly pop open that appraisal report. I'm not going to do it because it's not redacted and I don't want all that information to be uh, on YouTube, but I will click this just to show you what it means. So I can click that document now. And here I have that address that I typed in 5801 South Palm Drive. Now keep in mind, it's nowhere noted in the file name or any of that basic information. So Windows basically went and searched every word and number in every PDF document in the folder I specified and it indexed it for me. So I could type in anything. I could type in extended counters down here and it would go through and find all of the listings where the agent typed in extended counters or whatever it is you want to search for. Um, and so it's a quick and easy way. And basically the way I do it is when I print to PDF for my, um, my listings, I save, I go through and have it print everything. So the uh, price history information, the price change history information, status change information, and then also the interior photos. So when I pull up an address, when I type an address down here, I basically have instant access to that listing or any listing that has that property address in it. And I can go and look at the photos, the price change history, what the agent said, all that stuff is all right here for me. It makes that really quick and easy. And then a side note is I can also do that for properties that I used a long time ago before I was digital. So when I was back in printing things to paper and I was taking that paper out with me when I was inspecting the comps or the neighborhood or the subject, then, so here, let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna type in a property I used a while ago. This is like seven or eight years ago. And then you just click documents. And so now I can see that, yes, I did use this address. Um, uh, or I did, that looks like I didn't use it in the actual report, but I did use it as a potential comp. So I can click that open it up and now I can see the actual document that I had printed out. Now, keep in mind, this obviously isn't gonna work unless you go in and scan in your old, dig your old work files so that they are digital, but this is not printed to PDF. I just basically um, 
went in and I scanned in all the, those old documents. I know a lot of you, you just pay someone some small amount. They go in, they'll scan in your documents for you. Um, I actually had my kids help me out with it. So they just went in, they scanned in the documents, they name it by the file number and what it was. And so basically I can scroll through here and see all of that information and any notes I took on the property, it's all in here. Everything I printed out for that particular potential comp is all in this document, including the photos, the MLS data, the tax records, all of it's in here. And again, it's all indexed, so I can just type in anything. If I type in the words Mr. System, it would pull this up. Um, and if you actually have good handwriting, it will actually read your handwriting as well. Now, I obviously don't, as you can see here, so it won't read what I said here, but it would actually read what you wrote on, if you hand wrote something or any kind of notes in here, it would actually be able to search through that and pull it up. Another example is I could just type in the MLS number. So um, here's an older one, I think. If I type that in, and here we go. So here's an example of reports where I used that number right here. So if I pull that up, it would instantly pull up that report and show you that information. And you can see here's some actual CSV files I downloaded from my MLS that had that MLS number in them. And so that can be handy as well if you wanna pull up old data that you had where that MLS number was used you can do that as well. And then the last thing I'll show you where that's helpful is you can actually type in, for example, so if I had an adverse location, either for the subject or a comp, and I put railroad, then it's searching through every report I've done where I used adverse railroad and put that in. And so if you're good about being consistent on what you use for railroad or you know power lines or whatever it is, then this is an easy way to go and search through those things. And by the way, make sure you click documents because it does give you a more thorough search if you click that. You can see a lot more popped up here. Uh, I had forgotten previously to click documents. So you click documents and then everything pops up anytime you had used adverse railroad in a report or anywhere in any of your work file. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna show you real quick how to actually go and turn that on in Windows because it's not turned on by default in, pro in most likely in the folders that you want it to be. So let's show you how to do that. So I'm gonna click down here in the search bar in Windows and I'm gonna type indexing. And then you can see it's called indexing options and you just click that. And what that does is it pops open a window right here and it shows you the folders where you have the data indexed and you want to make sure you turn on folders that you want Windows to index and turn off folders that you don't want it to index. So if you don't want Windows to have um, uh, certain information indexed, then turn it off because one, you don't really need Windows to have that information and two, it's going to make it, it use up less of your memory. So what you do is you click modify down here and then in this window that pops up, you basically just go and tell it where on your computer is uh, the are the folders that you want it to index, and so you can turn it on for your photo, your folders that have your photos, um, any digital work file information, where your PDFs and XMLs are for your actual reports, whatever it is you want. I would where you want it, you basically want to have almost instant access to that information. Turn those on, and so for me, I think I, I have it in my Dropbox folder and fee appraisal work, and right here. So it's that PDF. So I turn that on and it's statistics here, where I keep my CSV files that I download or export from my MLS for TrendSheet or Spark. So I just turn that on and that on, and then I hit OK, and then Windows will go and index those. And then there's one more key, really important thing you need to do. So um, it, otherwise, it's not gonna do all the stuff I just showed you, is you wanna click Advanced, and then right here on this window, click File Types. And this is the part where you can tell Windows to go and actually index the contents of the document rather than just the basic information about the file, like its name and date and size. So you find PDF. So there's a big long list here. You find PDF, you click it. And then after you click it, you make sure that you have chosen this button right here that says index properties and file contents. Turn that on and then hit OK. And then what that means is Windows is not only gonna index the basic file information, but also the contents of the files in that folder. And it's gonna take some time. So right up here, it's gonna tell you how many files you've indexed and it's gonna tell you that it's working still. And it might take a few hours, maybe a day, depending on how many 
uh, files you had indexed. I think for me to index six, these 16,000, which isn't, by the way, all my files, it's just um, a few. I had to, I got a new laptop, so I don't have all my files on here yet. But, um, but I think it took maybe two hours to index these 16,000 items um, and that's it. And then when you just hit close, it'll do its thing in the background. You don't have to leave this window open or anything. It'll tell you that it's working. You can just hit close and it'll continue working until it's done. And basically when you go back the next day or in a few hours, you can just use this feature where you go in and type whatever you want in anywhere and it'll search through all those PDFs anywhere in the PDFs and find that information. All right, hopefully this was helpful and thanks everybody for watching.